Hello, my name is Bella. Welcome back to the Getting Started with Myriad Cloud tutorial series. In this video, we will focus on adding voice tracks to scheduled automation. If you are new to radio, you may not have heard the term voice tracking before. It is the practice of recording a unique voice link between two scheduled pieces of audio, in such a way that it sounds live to the end listener. Because each voice track only involves the presenter listening to the end of the previous item and the beginning of the next, with a bit of practice, presenters can record an hour's worth of voice tracks in only a few minutes, ready to be played automatically at a later time and date. The process is really simple, but it is a bit difficult to explain verbally, so let's just go straight to an example and I will explain what is happening as we go. Starting on the dashboard tab in broadcast.radio. Click on the Voice Tracking and Log Editing button. This will open the Voice Tracking module in the Myriad Cloud tab. The section on the right shows the content that is scheduled to play in each hour. This is called the Log. You can use the Go To button to select the date and hour you want to add a voice track to. Let's add a voice track to the 5 pm hour today. The Log is now showing the content scheduled to be played in the 5 pm hour. To start the voice tracking process, select the song or audio item you want to be playing at the end of your voice track and then click the Seg Edit button to open the Segway Editor window. This window shows how Myriad Cloud will segue between the selected items. You can use this to adjust the timing, adjust the volume envelope or record a voice track between the items. In this case, we want to record a voice track so, simply click on the Voice Track Step button. It is called the Voice Track Step button because its function automatically changes to the next step in the voice tracking process, so you only need to click one button to move through the steps involved. You can also use the spacebar on your keyboard to do the same thing. In a moment, we will hear a presenter record a voice track but I will first explain the steps you will see. When the presenter clicks on the Voice Track Step button, the last few seconds of the previous track will be heard. When the presenter wants to start recording the voice track, they simply need to start speaking, assuming the microphone is on. You will see the recording is represented in the Segway Editor window. When the presenter wants to start the next item, they click the Voice Track Step button again, and the next item will start playing. Finally, they click the button one more time to stop recording. Let's take a look. Hello there, that was a great link from Let Me Down Slowly by Alec Benjamin. And next up we've got This Is Love by Bob Marley. Here we go. In this example, the Bob Marley track did not have an intro, i.e. the singing started straight away, so the presenter ended the voice track immediately. For songs that have a section at the beginning without singing, sometimes called an intro, the presenter could have opted to continue talking over the beginning of the song. If the presenter is happy with the track, they click on the voice track step button one more time to save the voice track. The system will now upload the voice track which may take a few seconds. If you want to, you can alter the timing for the voice track by dragging the elements left and right. Note how the volume envelope follows the recorded voice track. You can also manually adjust the volume envelope if you wish. When you are happy with the changes, click on the Save button. In the previous example, the previews of the end and beginning of the log items were already downloaded, so we were able to record a voice track straight away. When you view a segue in the Segway Editor window where one or more of the items has not been downloaded previously, or one of the items has been edited, the system will automatically download previews of the audio needed. Once downloaded, they are stored in your local cache so you will not need to download them again unless they change. In this example, the Segway editor needs to download the audio before it can start the voice tracking process. You don't need to close the Segway editor window in between recording voice tracks. Here we can see the voice track we recorded earlier. To add another voice track further down the hour, simply click in the log on the item you want to be playing at the end of the voice track. 
Note that you cannot move on to a new voice track if you have not saved or abandoned the current one. You can review any voice track or segue by clicking on the play button. You can also preview and edit any segues in the log, whether they are voice tracks or simple junctions between songs and jingles. Voice tracking is a fantastic way to make your station sound live and engaging, whilst minimizing the time commitment from your presenters and contributors. Here we can see the voice track we recorded earlier being played live on the station, giving the listeners the impression your presenter is broadcasting the show live from a studio. For more video tutorials and help articles, visit our help portal using the link below or check out our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and happy broadcasting.